We'll start from child's pose. If child's pose is not accessible, then you can start lying down on your belly. All right? Um, and as you move into child's pose, move in with your breath, noticing where you are physically, mentally, emotionally, what keeps kind of running through the mind, what is uh, being loud and vocalized, and then slowly let your awareness move into your heart center, okay? We are going to be here for nine breaths. And when I go into child's pose, I'm not going to say anything. So as you're moving in, always connect to the, the grace of the heart. And what I want you to do is just feel the breath. The breath to me is grace. And if we want to feel that guidance of grace to really help create the shift that, we're, that is of our highest good without creating any more harm, we want to first pull in to receive, all right? So we'll call on the highest and draw that circle of intention around us. Coming into child's pose for those nine breaths. As you breathe into that space, noticing what came up for you, you're going to stretch your arms out. Spread through your fingers. Get the undersides of the arms to lift up. Get the belly to lift up. And just soften the area in your shoulders. Free the head. Relax the neck and jaw. Then we're going to inhale all the way up onto our hands and knees and shift all the way over to our belly. So if you are on your belly, you can stay there. Come up to your forearms, push the arms into the earth, lift into the belly. Because when we're working with fire energy and water energy, we're going to work with that core and we're going to work with the sides of the body. So since we are going to look at the neck too, I want you to think of the sideline from the back of your head to the top of your shoulder. Let your head move around, but keep the belly lifted. And this ability to be more like bottle head in your moves. All right, and then here we are in Sphinx Pose. Come all the way back to the center. Push the arms to the floor, draw into the belly. You're gonna tuck your toes and pick your knees up. You can, I'm sorry, pick your hips up. You can keep your knees on the ground, right? Or you can lift them up. But what I want you to resist, don't harden in the back of the heart, soften. Toes tuck. Lift your knees up. I know, we started in child pose and now we're already in a forearm plank. Stay connected to your breath. Free through the neck and the jaw. And then we're gonna walk our feet in. And as you walk your feet in, bend your knees, keep your hips up high. Heads relaxed, neck is relaxed, jaw is relaxed. Soften the heart, but pull up into the belly. And then you're gonna just pivot your left heel to the floor. I know this is big. We're in a forearm prep. Pivot the back heel to the ground. Wake up that side body. You have to use your core a lot. Inhale your heels up. Pivot that right heel to the ground. Hips are leaning towards the left, stretching out that right side body. Big breath in, big breath out. Inhale your hips back up through the center. Walk your feet all the way back into that forearm plank. Full breath in, and then exhale your knees to the ground. Sweep your heart forward. Back into Sphinx Pose, lift the heart, move the head around. Fun. You got it in you a few more times, we're going to do it a couple more times. Big breath in, big breath out. We'll come all the way down, hands come under our shoulders, 
Inhale, rise up onto your hands and knees. Tuck your toes and move all the way back, downward facing dog. You're gonna bend your knees, pivot the left heel to the ground, and just breathe into that left side body. Three breaths. Heads clear, necks clear, arms are strong. Inhale your hips up, pivot your right heel to the ground. Breathing into that right side body. And then inhale all the way up. Walk your feet to the front into the mat. You're gonna fold all the way forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine, open the heart out. Just listening to everything that's coming through. Step all the way back, downward facing dog. Knees to the earth. Move all the way back, child's pose. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. We're gonna move through that whole flow all over again. And what I want you to do is now that you know what's coming, stay connected to your strength, be fluid. Inhale, come all the way up onto your hands and knees. Exhale, all the way down. Sweep the arms forward into Sphinx Pose, but be fluid so that you can tune in and you can listen. You can really feel that ocean of compassion that you're diving into. Draw into the belly, come back through the center. Elbows are under the armpits. Shoulders strong to the back. Lift through the inseams of your legs. Really be fluid here. Lift through the inseams of your legs. Knees can stay down or they lift up. Breathe into that power and into that strength, that connection to you. Bend the knees, walk your feet forward. Now you can pivot from foot to foot. You can stay steady or you can inhale. Bend the knee though, lift from your inner thigh. Left leg goes to the sky. And then exhale the left foot down. And then inhale, lift the right foot up. Lift through the inner thigh, not lifting from your outer hip. Inner thigh. Exhale the foot back down. Walk your feet all the way back. Into that forearm plank. Full breath in. Knees come to the ground, hips come to the ground. Heart sweeps forward. Sweet old uh, Sphinx pose. Exhale, melt the heart, hands under your shoulders, lift up, toes tuck, move all the way back, downward dog. We'll do the side again, bend both knees, roll your hips to the right, stretching out that left side body. Move from your core, lift through the center, knees bend, rolling over to the left, stretching the right side. Inhale through the center, walk your feet forward. As your feet walk forward, exhale, fold over. Ease up the neck, the jaw. Inhale, lengthen the spine. So listen to everything that's coming through. Exhale, bow down. Bend the knees, step all the way back. Downward dog. Head staying below the heart so the mind can get clear. Knees bend all the way to the earth. Move it back, child's pose. One more time. Inhale, rise, listening in, tuning in. What is working for you? Come onto your forearms. Once you're up, shoulders drawn to your back, lift the heart, lift the chest. What is speaking to you? What is guiding you right now? Toes tuck, lift through the belly. And can you open yourself up to that guidance that's more supportive and allowing you to enjoy the rhythm and where you are? Bend the knees, walk your feet in. I'm somebody who's really sensitive to physical pain. All right, so you're gonna roll from side to side, stay here, or bend the right knee, and inhale the right heel up. Sweep through your inner thigh, internally rotate. Feel the connection from your toes to your heart. Then exhale the foot down. Listen to the areas that you might be uh, splitting your energy and disconnecting. Connect more fully. Feel that guidance of your own being. Both feet to the ground. Walk all the way back. Forearm plank. Deep breath in. Heads clear. Then all the way down to Sphinx pose. Opening the heart. Exhale, fold over. Hands under your 
shoulders. Inhale, lift up and move back. Downward dog. My dog needs help getting up. You're going to walk your feet back this time. All the way to the back edge of your mat. Standing in a forward bend. <sighs> Nobody hurts as bad as Willie hurts right now. And then you're going to walk your hands all the way forward. Downward facing dog. And as you move into downward dog, bring your knees to the ground. And move all the way back, child's pose. Sorry about that. Poor little guy. Mm. Big deep breath in and a deep breath out. You're going to inhale, stretch forward. Find your fingertips. Rise up onto your hands and knees. Stretch. I'm going to turn to face you guys. Stretch your right leg out to the side. Okay? Right foot's in line with your right hip and come standing on your left knee. So we just did a lot to wake up the heart, wake up the arms, wake up the core. So be kind to yourself, lengthen through the spine, because grace only speaks in the kindness of words. Lengthen through the spine, stretch over to the right, and feel this whole right side. That core we woke up, shoulders to your back, throat's open. So connect to how you're engaging with the side of the throat. And then exhale, circle the arm down, Bring your left hand to the earth, heel toe your right foot in, stretch the right arm by your side, but feel the head opening up, shoulders are to your back, core is engaged, and let the top arm drape. Just let it drape. Deep breath in, and a deep breath out. Inhale the right leg up, bend the knee, grab the hand for the foot. Shoulders drawn to the back. Your thigh is parallel, it tends to want to hike up. Shoulders drawn to the back. Kick the foot back. Stretch the heart forward. Open through the throat. Breathing all the way in. And then exhale. Free the foot out. Foot comes to the earth. Inhale all the way up. Okay? We're going to turn the right foot out. Bend into the right knee. And then stretch. This is like a, this is really a prenatal side angle pose. So feel yourself pregnant with that connection to transform, to invite more guidance into your life that's of the highest energy. And then inhale, come all the way back through the center. Bring your right knee underneath your hip, and we'll switch to the left side. Left foot stretches out. It's in line with the hip or in front of it. Sides are lifted. Right arm goes up. Lift up and reach over to the left. Feel your breath, your connection to the whole, the wholeness of you. And then exhale, circle the arm down. Right hand's got to go out in front of your shoulder slightly. Left foot's going to slide in. Shoulders drawn to the back. The bottom rib cage is lifting. That side waist is lifted. Ribs hug in, shoulders drawn to the back. Left arm slides by your ear, okay? Both sides of the throat are long. And it's just drapey, right? It's very uh, diva-like. It's very fluid, but it's also fiery. Stay here or inhale the left leg up. Bend the knee. Hand reaches for your foot. Shoulders drawn to your back. Core stays connected as the heart opens up. Opening into more of that connection and that alignment. Hmm, to feel that gr greater guidance. To me, grace is just simply that revelatory power that reveals to us our truth, to puts us back on the journey that's of our highest, doesn't mean it's always fun. Exhale, free the foot. Foot comes back down to the earth. Come standing again. Left foot turns out. Bend into that left knee. It's like a warrior two lunge with the right knee on the ground. Draw into the core. Stretch the arm by your ear. Mm -hmm. Big full breath in. Full breath out. And then exhale the hand back to the earth. Both knees come to the ground. All right, I'm turning back on my mat. Both hands come to the ground. Exhale, round the back, chin to your chest. Inhale, open the heart. 
You're going to lift the knees and hips up and back, downward dog. Inhale the right leg to the sky, bend the knee, open the hip. And then inhale, square it off. Bring the knee to your heart, step the foot through to a lunge. Pivot the back heel to the floor, lunge into the front knee. Elbow to the thigh, arm by your ear. So we're just going to build up from the ground. Pull into your core, shoulders drawn to the back. Stretch the arm by your ear. So we have not come standing fully upright for a reason. I really want the head to get more clear, right? Clear so you can get into that fluid energy and that dance between the right side and the left side of the brain and not just stuck in the pragmatic routine that we tend to have. Push the feet to the ground, inhale, rise up. So here we are, first time vertical in warrior two. Draw into that core. Lift up, you're gonna reach back. Left hand's gonna hold on to your wrist. Watch the left hip, it'll pop forward. Pull into the waistline, lift up and reach all the way back. Then inhale, come through the center, we're still in warrior two. Elbow to the thigh, feel the full expansion into that side angle. And then exhale, hand to the ground. Spin the back heel up, you're gonna lift up and back, downward dog. Right leg goes to the sky. Open the hip up, you can stay here, or you can pivot over to the pinky toe side of your left foot. Just come up onto your right fingertips. Sweep the right knee to the sky, stretch to your toes, and then reach the right arm by your ear. A little fancy, I know. You might fall, but just have fun. Feel more supporting you than you could ever possibly imagine. Right hand comes to the ground, downward dog. Inhale your left leg up, bend the left knee, open the hip, staying strong, clear, connected. And then inhale, square it off. Step it all the way through, pivot the right heel. So to be ground, guided by grace, we actually have to be grounded in it too. Elbow to the thigh, thighs move back, side angle pose. Stretch to the sides of the throat. Feel where your head is in relationship. Feel what's going on through those rivers of the side body. Shoulders are to the back, opening out. Feel how much you probably still move and sway and continue to open. Let all that angelic guidance that you may or may not connect with be with you. Inhale, come up. So that when you rise up, you feel the support. Warrior two, inhale, lift up. Hold on to the left wrist, shoulders to your back, reach back, reverse warrior two. Don't lose the connection to that right leg, right thigh bones moving back, right waistline's alive. Inhale, come back through the center, elbow to the thigh, arm by your ear. Deep breath in, and then exhale. Right hand to the ground, spin that right heel up. You gotta get all the way up and internally rotate. Step back, downward dog, left leg goes to the sky. Pivot over to the pinky toe side of the right foot. So I bend my knee, both knees at the same time, pull into the belly. Feel a greater support beneath you. You can just be here on your fingertips or you can lift the arm, stretch it by your ear. And just hold the form here, best you can. Even be willing to fall over, that's how we learn, it's how we grow. Stretch the foot back to the ground, sorry, hand back to the ground, foot to the ground. Downward dog. Inhale, come forward into a plank pose. Bend the elbows all the way to the earth. Bend both knees, hands to your feet. So, we have not done cobra pose or upward dog, we've done sphinx. And we've stretched the side body and the inner thighs. So I want you to be here. Hold on to your feet or your ankles, shoulders to your back, and just listen. Listen to what's asking for a shift. If your knees are talking, move the knees wider, but make sure you move your feet wider too, okay? Move the position on your hands. If you can't find the feet, just bring your arms by your sides. Shoulders to the back, free up the head, and then notice what your belly's doing. Can you lift it up 
and just lift through your inner thighs. We're not lifting super high. Big deep breath in. And then exhale. Melt down, knees stay bent, hands come under your shoulders. You're gonna pull into the belly so those thighs lift like we were doing in forearm plank. Lift through the inseams of your legs, pull into the belly more, and then rise up. Tuck your toes, find your fingertips, and push the inseams of your legs to your inner heels. Relax the head onto the ground if it makes it. Inhale, rise up onto your hands and knees. Slide your right arm under your left. Okay? Your right armpit and your right knee are in the same line. You're going to tuck your left foot and stretch it out to the left. Lean back on your head and stretch your left arm above the head. You have to push the back of the skull to the ground. You are not collapsing in the neck. If you hear in your body that you've gone too far, then pull out of it. Big breath in and a big breath out. Bring your left hand back in line with your nose. Slide your left knee back in line. Push the left hand to the earth. Inhale onto your hands and knees, adjust the hips, and then thread it over to the other side. Okay, again, the underside of the neck, you're not going to collapse into it. That's going to kill the back of the shoulder blade. Right? You've got to be on the back of the head, stretch the right leg out to the side. You've got to open the throat, and then the right arm can stretch back. This is a big twist. Use the core. It's a really big twist through the neck, through the back. Feel the breath. Hopefully we grounded our systems before we did big twists. Adjust as you need to. You have to really learn to listen to the guidance you're receiving. Bring your right hand back. Bring your right knee back. Look to the ground. Move from your core. Come up onto your hands and knees. Then move it all the way back. Downward facing dog. Ease up through the neck. Ease up through the jaw. Inhale, the right leg to the sky. Bend the knee again. Open the hip up. Then inhale, square it off. Draw the knee to the heart. Right foot, left hand. Pivot the heel to the crown. Stretch the arm by your ear. Mm -hmm. You're going to exhale. Left hand to the earth. Pivot over to the pinky toe side of the left foot, right arm lift. So we just did this flow, right? We're just adding on to it. Now exhale the right hand down, right leg lift, so you can always stay here, right? If you want a core, you can always just pulse back and forth if the side plank's not accessible. This time we'll step the right foot through to a lunge, pivot the back heel to the floor, turn to the long edge of your mat, Find both feet, exhale, bow. Okay? As you bow, if headstand is part of your practice, I'm not a tripod headstand person because my limbs are so long compared to my torso. If you are not a headstand practitioner, don't go for it. Just find Prasara Tapata Tanasana. Feel the breath, the connection. If you're going into Shivshasana, you're going to come up, I'm falling off my mat, you're going to come up onto just the tip, tip, tips of your toes. You're not taking the feet off of the ground, all right? We're just pulling into that core, using the inseams of the legs, and then ground the heels back to the earth. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Turn your right foot out. Find your feet. Feel your breath. Right foot grounds. We're going to go deeper into that side angle pose. If you need to bring your elbow to your thigh, please do so. Push into the ground. Inseams your back. Outer hips wrap in. Core is alive and electric. It's creating this wake up in the system. Waking up to that. I was saying it. Electromagnetic force is guiding all of us. And the higher vibration of it. Heel toe the back foot in. Left hand to your hip, right arm stretches forward, half 
moon pose. This is a long flow. If you felt going into half moon from that deep of a side angle is too much, bend the right knee, pull up into the right waistline. Keep the right waistline lifted and then move your inner hip and outer hip back to extend the leg again. Left arm to the sky, if you like. Bend the left knee, hand to the foot, open the heart up. Mm -hmm. Big deep breath in, deep breath out. And then free the foot all the way out. As you exhale, bend the knee, foot comes to the ground, we're gonna go into triangle pose. So foot comes down, heel to it back, extend through both feet, reopen the heart, open the throat, re-extend the arm. Connect. What's going on here? If looking up messes with the neck, look in the direction of your heart or look down. Big full breath in, full breath out, and then bend the knee, hand to the earth, move it back, downward dog. Reconnect, realign, return to the breath, and then here we go, inhale, left leg lifts, bend the knee, open the hip up. Feel that connection to that sideline, inhale, square it off, knee to your heart, left foot up to your right hand, pivot the right heel. You're gonna feel that connection grounding in, stretch the arm by your ear. And then the right hand's gonna come to the earth, spin the right heel up, Left leg comes through, leg lifts up, okay? Pivot over to the pinky toe side of the right foot. Stretch the arm by your ear. Having a little fun. Exhale. Hand comes down, step the foot through to a lunge. Pivot the back heel to the floor and we're gonna quarter turn it. Feet go wide. Legs are internally rotated, core is lifted, melt the heart. Check in again. What's going on? If, you're, if your neck is bothering you, I do not suggest you do headstand. It's just, there's, okay, I'm gonna time out for a second. Remember this thing, our neck? that connects our mind and our heart. If it is talking to you, if it is hurting, why then would you ask it to perform in a way when it is clearly communicating with you that it is not full, fully aligned? So rather than dismiss what's being communicated, we want to receive the guidance and allow, right? So, if you're in this wide-legged forward bend, just because the pose is being offered, doesn't mean you accept. So you come and you connect, you breathe, some of you are already there, I know. You come to the earth, you lengthen, and you come to the tips of your toes, you check in, <laughs> mine aren't going up, right? And if you check in and it's all clear for you, whoop, then you take your legs out. I cannot talk and do this at the same time. So I'm not gonna try. You want to feel your breath. Feel the clear connection. Whoop, I have a wall. And my connection is wanting to go bigger than what I'm wanting, which is funny, because I don't come up into headstand, so you listen. <laughs> My guidance is not happening. So feet come back to the earth. Return. Enjoy the play of it all. Clear out. And then lengthen the spine. Turn the left foot out. Deep side angle. Okay? Left hand comes to the ground. So since we just played in headstand, you want to be really clear of where you're orienting your head right here, right now. Right? Lengthen the spine. Thighs are back. Hug the outer hips in. Stretch the right arm by your ear. Deep, full breath in. 
full breath out. Shifting, bring your right hand to your hip just so you can eliminate. And that way you can stay conscious of that inner force guiding you into half moon pose. Feel the breath, the openness, the joy, the delight of standing on one foot. And then you can go deeper. Bend the knee, hand for the foot, shoulder to the back, just like we did when we were on our knee. Connect to the core, expand the heart. Listen to the guidance coming through, not just the mind. The mind is gonna edge out that guidance again and again and again. We want to receive it. Free the foot, arm stretches up, foot's gonna go back, we're going to triangle pose, so foot comes down, adjust, ground, and expand. Hmm. Again, check in, sides of the throat, sides of the body. Are you just in a rounded spine? Or can you honor the hamstring, lengthen the chest, and open the heart? Big full breath in. Exhale, free the hand. Bend the knee all the way back. Downward dog, full clearing, full extension. Inhale, plank. Exhale, all the way to the ground. Bend both knees, reach both hands, right? Listen to what's coming through. And this is a little much, but if you want to, bring your heels towards your sit bones, turn your hands, sweep your elbows up, and then feel a different connection with the arms, the neck, the shoulders. You can feel that connection, right? Opening up. We're not trying to go big in the expression, we're just trying to connect. And then exhale, not all the way down. All the way to the ground, pillow your hands, melt into the floor, feel the power of your breath, the beat of your heart. Mm -hmm. Inhale, bring your gaze back to the center. Hands under your shoulders. Feet point back. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. So, check in, breathe. Don't just knee jerk respond to what you always do. Inhale, lift the heart, lift the chest, opening up. And then exhale it back. Downward facing dog. Slowly walk your feet forward, all the way to the front edge of the mat. Find both feet beneath you, and exhale, bow down. Clear up the neck, the jaw. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bow down. Knees are going to bend, pull into the center, elbows to the thighs. Draw into the core, lengthen the spine. And as the spine is lengthening, stretch it long. Hands to heart center, left elbow, right knee. Twisting. Feel as you twist, the inseams go back. Actually draw the outer hips in two. Feel the duality supporting you. Inhale back through the center. Right elbow to the left knee. Inseams move back, outer hips draw in. Expand the heart, what's going on? Where's the head, right? Inhale, come all the way back through. Sit a little deeper. Press into the earth. Inhale, all the way up. Feels so good, right? And then exhale. Stand here. Stand tall. Feel that potency. Feel the heart beating. You can totally adjust your clothes. Mine got really twisted. But move inward to that source, to that wellspring, 
to that compassion that's bubbling up inside of you that can allow you to soften your perception to receive more of the ways that you're being guided and easing into that graceful offering rather than edging it out. Three more breaths here. Allow the head to be light on the spine. And then heel toe the feet apart. We're not trying to make anything happen. Anytime we're being guided by grace, we're just strengthening our ability to tune in to our intuition, which sits in the solar plexus that lives in our hearts. Hips pull back, come all the way into Malasana. You can stay here or you can come all the way seated into uh, bound angle pose. Feel your energy settling, listening in. We'll come all the way seated. From that seat, guide your way to the earth, slowly and sweetly. Once the head comes to the ground, release the head completely to the earth. Walk the heels in, arms by your sides. Push the feet into the earth. Inhale, bridge pose, throats open, okay? Feel what's going on in the body. Throat open, big full breath in. Just feel, is there a fluid movement of the passion you hold for your practice, for your heart, for your experience, or is it getting blocked? Is it getting stuck? We're not trying to move it out. We're just taking note. And then lead with your inner thighs and bring your hips to the ground. Simple, right? Bridge pose. So what I want you to really be able to do is find how you hold the authority and that you are the one who's giving yourself the approval to move further or not, all right? And that approval doesn't come because you're able to do something. There's approval for the moment that you're in, right? And when we approve of ourselves just as we are, that graceful guidance comes through and it's really quiet, it's really soft, it's not a lot of words, okay? So if it sounds like me, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't grace. I talk a lot. Sweet old Gemini here. Inhale into bridge pose. From that bridge, you're gonna check in, right? I know for a matter of fact, guidance I got earlier, wheel pose is not for me today. So I will stay here. Otherwise, hands come back by your ears, lift the heart, and five breaths, or three, or nine. Wherever you go, you're gonna breathe deeply. So I'll just go into a deeper expression of bridge and know that that's more than enough for me. You go into the expression where you can receive the grace of you just as you are. And after those deep connected breaths, you will go from wheel pose back to bridge to join all of us. There's a lot of power in holding bridge pose. If you're in bridge pose, free your hands. We're all gonna stretch the arms back behind our ears. Lift the heels up, curl the tail, and vertebrae by vertebrae, all the way to the ground. Okay, we're not gonna come back up seated. We're at the end of our practice, so articulating the spine holds a lot of power right now. Now, you can't stop here. 
You've got to get the tail all the way to the ground. So release, heels come to the ground, feet release. Arms stretch out from your shoulders, knees roll to the left. Three breaths here. I'm a huge fan of a very simple and accessible twist after back bends so that we can listen to the truth of our body. When we kind of just power up and push through, which we can do sometimes, we miss the deeper guidance. We get carried away. Which there's times for, but not right now. Exhale, hug into the belly. Inhale the knees to the center. Roll the knees over to the right. Three deep breaths here. Inhale, come all the way back through the center. Knees come into the chest. Give yourself a nice hug. You rock and roll from side to side. Knees are going to open wide. Your choice. You can hold on to your ankles, uh, which I really recommend for the neck and shoulder. It'll clear the neck out a lot. Or you can go into happy baby pose. Five breaths, right? Happy baby pose, definitely not something that my body approves of in this moment. So this is why I made this one up. Feet are apart, hands are to your ankles, heads relaxed, jaws relaxed. <sighs> Tuning into your breath. Tuning into the settling. Tuning in to the shifts that are happening that aren't breaking you down or tearing you apart, but they're helping you to realign with your truth. Bring your knees together, give yourself a sweet hug, and then bring the feet to the ground. Once the feet come to the ground, pause. If you need another twist, right, because the back isn't settling, find a twist. Otherwise, stretch the legs out long. Adjust the back body into Shavasana. It feels like such a fast flying quest today. Arms by your sides, jaw relaxes, head's heavy. Each time you inhale, feel just more supported. Feel held. Feel under each little curve, there's energy flowing and holding you and supporting you. And at each exhale, you lean back into that. But each inhale, you're reconnecting to the energy that supports you, that's guiding you, that's encouraging you. And each exhale, you're feeling the support. You're feeling the nourishment. You're feeling held.
Allow for a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Become more aware of your breath. And how much the breath connects you to that grace that enlivens your heart, your experience of this moment as you breathe all the way in and all the way out. Feeling the breath guide you and your connection to you as you stretch into your feet, into your hands. Allow the head to roll from side to side. You're going to bend both knees. So both feet are on the ground. And then bring both knees into your chest. Giving yourself a little hug. Rocking from side to side. Head is super heavy. Jaw is super relaxed. And then bring the feet back down to the earth. You're going to roll over to one side. Eyes stay closed. Either stay in a fetal pose or come seated. You're more than welcome to stay in a fetal pose. We're going to feel that connection to our breath. To the world within us to our hearts. Feel that in each position we take, we can reorient ourselves to enjoy this gracious offering. If you're in that reclined fetal pose, you're going to slowly come up seated. Reconnect to your inner world. Dropping into the deeper layers of the heart, of your heart. Feeling the dreams of your heart, feeling more safe and supported to come forward. Not really to create to this moment, but to listen and to allow those dreams to have a voice, to inspire your vision. Allow your hips to grow a little heavier and the spine to grow a bit longer. You're going to bring the palms of the hands together. And as you honor that light in yourself, it'll be so much easier to honor the light in each other. That we can feel what needs to be shifted, shifting. And embrace the nectar, even when we know there's still a great fire igniting us through this divinely guided transition in our life. 
And so we feel this transition from our inner world to our outer world by saying hello to that light that's around us, that same light that's within us that's going to guide our way on. Namaste. From my heart to all of yours. I thank you.